Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And today I have my weekly haul. I go to this thrift store every Wednesday. They change their colors out on Wednesday. So you get the best deals on the new stuff on Wednesdays. Um, this is my favorite store that I go to. My dog is playing. So let's see if he behaves himself for this video. <laughs> Sorry for the squeaking. Um, I spent just about $200 today. I think it was 206, but there's a couple things that I picked up for my mom. Um, some of them might be in here and, um, yeah, so I think I found a few things that I'm really excited about. This is one of them. This is Draper James, which is Reese Witherspoon's brand. This is a brand that I'm excited every time I see it. This is, I think it's a midi dress, let's see. Yeah, this is a midi dress and um, it is a size 3X, although I wouldn't have guessed that it was quite that big, but um, super excited. I've never come across this in plus size before. I paid $10 for that. The green tags were not on sale, but everything else was. Um, this is one of the more exciting finds. Today I paid 15 for this, although that just fell off. But this is Sam, which is a great outerwear brand. This is a kid's jacket. They're kind of known for like very shiny. Um, it kind of helps to spot it when you're in the store looking through the racks. Obviously there's other shiny brands out there or shiny jackets from just regular brands, but um, these are really nice. This probably retailed for about $400 for a kid's jacket. And I'll probably list this close to a hundred. And I think it's a kid size 12, which is a nice size too, that it's not like a toddler, like someone might actually spend that much for an older kid for a jacket. Um, okay, they left the sensor on that, so that should be fun. <laughs> I'll uh, have to go back there, I guess. Um, so this is a hat, and I picked it up just thinking, oh, this is cute, but then it ended up being the brand Frankie's Bikinis, which is a great bathing suit brand. Um, I figured it was gonna be like PacSun or just Shein or something. Um, I have no idea what this will go for, but um, it sh I've sold their bathing suits for, I think I had just a top and I sold it for like 40 bucks. So hopefully I can get like 25 for this. I only paid $3, although it's going to force me to take a trip back there, which worse things could happen than that. This is Mason, my beagle. He's behaving himself pretty well today. Um, I picked up a couple other kids pieces, not a ton today. So this is a dress that I thought would just be perfect for Easter or um, other spring occasions. It has some like crinoline in the bottom, so it's a little um, fluffier than average, but it's by Janny and Jack and it's a size three. And the Janny and Jack tag on the other one's a better one to show you. Um, I paid $4 for that. So cute. And then this one is also Janny and Jack. And that's the tag. And this one's a size five. And it's, I'm not honestly sure which way it goes. There's a code in Janny and Jack that you can usually um, find a photo of it. So I should be able to tell, but it's kind of like, I think they call this like a pillowcase dress where it's just kind of, kind of looks like a pillowcase. Um, this was, I think $3 and the Jan this one I'll probably list for about 25. This one I'll probably list for closer to 30 since it's a little more of an occasion dress. My camera print angle is probably completely different now because Mason just knocked over my whole <laughs> tripod display. 
But um, I think this is the last piece for kids I got. This is a jacket from Bowdoin. Now, normally it'll say mini Bowdoin on it for kids. So kind of weird, but this is definitely a kids. It's size eight, nine. I paid $3 for it. This is not like a winter jacket. It's more of like a spring, fall utility jacket, kind of like a sweatshirt inside. Um, so I've never sold anything like this from Bowdoin before, so I'm not positive on price, but um, I would guess that it's probably in the 30 or so range. I usually do great with mini Bowdoin. Um, I'm sure your thrift stores do this too, where they like bag up a bunch of random stuff. Um, I grabbed this one because it's just all tinsel and I thought that was kind of fun for the holidays. Obviously I have to keep it for a long time because it's January now, but um, I can put it like in um, some stuff and all of it cost me uh, $3 and I'm sure that um, like one of these probably cost, I don't know, at least a couple dollars. I don't see a price on any of them, but yeah, just something random. Always fun to grab stuff for yourself too and not just for the business. One of the perks of shopping all the time for sure. Um, this is a pair of pants that I think this will now be the fourth time that I sell this exact pair of pants. They've all sold for me. These are soft surroundings. It's kind of wrinkled, but these are a size large tall, I believe. And I don't know why, but these, I keep finding these and they keep doing well. Um, I think I've had them in like regular tall and petite and they've all sold. Um, I think I only paid $4 for these today. So that was a good price and um, proven results. I already know those should sell for me. Um, this is a great men's brand. This is Todd Snyder, and I've never found something like this from him before. I've sold like a men's button down shirt and khakis, but I've never sold something like this. So it's kind of shacket weight, I would say. It's, it looks like a pico almost material, but it's a little lighter. Um, cotton camel hair blend made in Canada. So I don't know about this one. I've never sold a piece like this, but I've done great with all the other stuff from him before. So I knew it was going to be a pickup for sure. I can't find the tag on it now, of course, but I believe it was $6.50. I think it was $12.99 and half off. Um, I didn't spend much time in the activewear today, but... Uh, these are some Athleta leggings. Sorry, he's being such <laughs> all over the place today. Um, these are pretty new because they say the style name in the tag. These are the Alation 7 8 tights and they are from 2019. So that's pretty recent. Um, I paid $4 for them. They're um, Athleta, I think I said that, but... Um, probably list these for about 35 or so. And then this is my only piece of Lily today. And I saw this one last week and I actually passed it up for $10, but paid five for it today. And someone tried to take it from my cart. Like she's stand, I was standing there in the dress aisle after I put it in my cart. And this woman comes up and just takes it from my car. I'm like, um, that's mine and my cart. And she's like, I wanted to see the size, which I don't have any idea why you need to see the size of something in someone else's cart. But luckily I didn't have to fight her for it. Um, this is an older Lily tag. That's why I left it behind last week because it's older and strapless. Although it is kind of cool because it's like a midi length. Um, but for $5, I grabbed it. I think there might have been a little marker somewhere on it, but um, for five, I'll take it. That's probably only going to bring about 40 or so. It's not a high profit item, but um, you know I love Lily. 
And then this is another brand that I've been finding so much recently. It's Jay McLaughlin. They're known for this stretchy material. They call it Catalina cloth. Um, this is a shift in brown and white and it's a size XL, which is awesome. Um, I think, let's see. So I believe that that I'm not positive, actually. I have to look it up. But they, like, make a lot of dresses in stretchy fabric, but they're not all their Catalina cloth. And um, you can tell by the fabric contents, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But I'm pretty sure this is it. It's 78% rayon, 14 nylon, 8% spandex. Um, and don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that is Catalina cloth. Um... What the heck happened to all my tag? Oh, this one's on here. Five dollars for this. Probably list that for about fifty. And then this dress is a very similar brand and kind of similar material. This is Jude Connolly. It's also that very stretchy knit. I sold this dress in like the turquoise colorway once. Um, I paid six fifty for it. This one's a size small. Um, probably list this for about $50 as well. That'll do well in spring and summer. That's super cute. And um, this one is J. Crew. I enjoy selling J. Crew's blazers. They do really well for me. This is a nice classic kind of camel beige colored one. Really nice inside. Um, 55% wool blend, spring 2018, so fairly current. I paid $6 for this, and I'll list this over 50, probably in like the 65 range. I will have to double check on that style, but that would be my best guess without having looked it up. Um, I picked up this one tank from Athleta, size medium. And this was only $3. I don't pick up a ton of tanks, but I thought this one was really nice. Um, I like the open back. Does it have? Um, it's from 2018 for $3. I'd figured I'd grab it. I'll probably list that for about 20 and probably triple my money on it. Then I found quite a lot of free people today and I left quite a lot of free people behind, but I paid $12.50 for this one. It was originally $25, which I may have even considered depending on comps. Obviously the regular old free people tag. This is a beautiful dress. I think it's probably midi. Yeah, on me at least. It would potentially be maxi on someone, um, but it's super textured it has kind of an open back i thought this one was gorgeous and for like a longer length dress you can usually count on those to do better than a mini dress and it's recent but not the most recent um, i can tell that just based on the interior tag style has changed but um i didn't look this one up but I'm hoping to get around 75 or so for that. And that's all for that bag. Then this was in the dress section and it shouldn't have been in the dress section, but it is stunning. This is a coat from Kate Spade. It's like a tweed material, has this big bow, this beautiful like turquoise color. It only has three buttons. Um, I've never sold a coat like this from her before. 100% cotton. Um, there's not too much information on there. But yeah, size eight. I paid $15 for this and that was full price, but I was happy to pay that. Sorry for Mason in the background. Um, even like the buttons are beautiful. It has. It looks like such an expensive coat so I was thrilled to find that one and this is another free people dress and I should have buttoned this one for you but I thought this was really cute this um 
looked pretty recent to me size extra small um it's not the most recent but um not too old i wish they had date codes on their stuff but i thought this one was so cute maybe i'm just drawn to tiger stuff because it was my college mascot and like we would wear tiger print things to game day and stuff um i went to clemson but um i think this one was only five the tag's missing again. That's so weird. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for that one. And then these were a super exciting find. They've been on my bolo list. I own a pair of these. These are Stubbs and Wooten, which is a super expensive brand of loafers. I bought myself a customized pair of mules from them in Palm Beach a few years ago. And they are just such an incredibly high like quality brand these are actually my size um not that i need them but the only thing that stinks is they're not in amazing condition so if anyone has any suggestions about what i could do here like maybe i'll see if a shoemaker could help me or anything but the gold toes have wear to them it's kind of hard to tell but there's definitely like peeling areas and they're just not in the best shape on the toes but the body themselves are in good shape they're not too bad on the bottom they're leather shoes so they'll always have wear on the bottom but these retailed for probably about six hundred dollars um and i paid 750 for them and i didn't even realize they were my size but um yeah let me know if anyone has any suggestions about the toes maybe i'll check out with a shoemaker what they can do for them um but i was pumped to find these and definitely keep an eye out for that um they make loafers and i bought mules from them but i don't know if they really make too many other styles they make men's and women's um great brand to know these are for my mom um she's gonna repaint these but we thought the shape was really nice i paid a dollar each for those, they're pretty ugly as they are, but she'll make them beautiful. And this is another free people piece. This is intimately free people. And this is another maxi dress. Um, it has a little run there, but I grabbed it anyway. Um, it's velvet and like slinky, high slit really fun for like a cocktail party type of dress code or a wedding guest. I paid $7.50 for this. Hopefully list that for about $60. It's like a pretty like icy gray slate bluish color. Um, I picked up quite a few maxis today. I did well in that section. That's usually the first stop I make um, every time I go. Now this one, let me see if I can make this look a little better for you because it's a wrap style, so it's all a mess. But this is from Lulu's, and I love to pick up their full-length dresses. I don't really pick up too much else from them at this point, but I do still pick up their gowns, and I often find them like off almost, almost every time I find it, it has the tags on it still. Um, and the two I got today both have the tags on them. So I don't know if people just buy a whole bunch and like to try for an event and then just never return them or what, but I find them with the tags so often. This one is a wrap style. It's a gorgeous color. I would totally wear this color. Um, full length. It's kind of a satiny... It's that kind of fabric that um, picks up snags insanely easily. So it's like a little off the shoulder. Um, it has a snap on the chest, I think. But new with tags, extra large. I paid $6.50 for this. Um, probably list that for about $60 or so. Was happy with that. And then this one <clears throat> was also Lulu's another new with tag 
I paid $6.50 also for this one. And this one's velvet, which velvet full-length dresses have done super well for me. Um, I think they're pretty common for people to want to wear to weddings or for people to have to wear as bridesmaids. Um, this one's only a size small, but I still think this will do really well. It's like a burgundy um, for $6.50. I'll probably list that one for about $60 or so as well. And then another full-length dress is also Free People. This one's, again, Intimately Free People, but I think that's an older Intimately tag. This one is kind of gives me, like, beach vibes. It's just spaghetti straps. It has a little bit of a snag on the neckline there, but that's okay. Um, full length, just really like light. The back kind of dips low, would be so pretty for the summer. And um, also paid $6.50 for that one. Again, extra small. And what's this? Oops, I meant to put this one back. So, didn't mean to buy that, but that's okay. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Um, I honestly don't even know how this ended up in my cart, but that's okay. It actually might even be, nah, not quite. But this is the brand Royal Robin, which it looked okay. I just didn't want to pay the um, $13 for it. So... It's like an active wear type of dress, short sleeves, it cinches at the waist. I'll definitely still list it. It's new with tags, which is great. Um, I'll probably only get like 40 or so for it, but um, it's called the Spotless Traveler's Dress. Um, and I probably would have considered grabbing it next week at half price, but um, it somehow ended up in my cart. <laughs> And this is Eloquy, which is a plus size brand that I like to pick up. This is an 18 and it's a midi dress with this pretty gathering. It's kind of like a jade seafoamy color. Um, slit would be great for a wedding guest. I paid $7.50 and it's also new with tags, probably list that for 50 to 60 and then this one's eloquy too and this one's more of like a casualer dress but off the shoulders pretty pink i'm guessing this has some level of linen in it this one's a size 20 and i paid five dollars also new with tags let's see if my hunch is correct Yep, 30% linen. <laughs> you definitely get good at identifying fabrics um, the longer you do this. And that's one of the, like, I never wear gloves at the bins because I think, I have I know that I've touched fabric before I've even seen it and know that it's something good. I've found Barefoot Dreams twice at the bins by just touching it and immediately knowing it's that. So in my opinion, um, your hands, like knowing the feel of things is a great asset to what you can do. Um, this is Lily, this is for personal use. This is a cooler bag. Um, did I need another one? Absolutely not. But um, here she is. I think I paid $3 for it, $4. But it's a great little size. Good for the beach and stuff. Um, and then I think this is the last piece of clothes. This I picked up and I'll see if my mom wants to do something with it, but it's a recipe box. It's old and it's metal, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, it says made in the USA on the bottom. Um, and I paid $3 for that. And then this is for my mom. It's a little straw bag with some, my guess would be faux leather handles, but she had mentioned wanting something like this. Um, so I grabbed this for her. That was $6, probably just a boutique. I think this says something on it, Bor Borghese. 
not anything I know. Inside it just says made in China on a tag, but hopefully that's what she wanted. If not, I'm sure I can make my money back on that. And then the last piece here is um, the tag is ripped in half for some reason, but it's House of CB, which I picked up um, not too long ago and it was worth so much more than I kind of realized. And I had actually sold one dress by them before, but this is a, I would say you could, this could be like black tie gown, um, black with like this white kind of detail down the side, strapless, really beautiful. I didn't see any issues with it. Um, even on the white, hopefully in better lighting, I won't notice anything but thought this was gorgeous, size large. I'll probably list this for over a hundred um, and we'll see how that does. Uh, what, what did I pay for this, did I say? Uh, 750 for that. So that is everything I got today. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm so excited to check this off my bolo list. I um, think I got some really great free people pieces and that Kate Spade coat is amazing. Um, so let me know if you have any tips to try and help these um, and let me know what you think. Have a great day.